We're in Durham, North Carolina today, where seventh ranked Duke is off to his best start in more than 15 years. But today will be the biggest test of the season so far. Second ranked Boston College, the defending champs, come to town. Can't necessarily take away what Jenner does, but it's all about players around the circle executing the game plan. And there's Charlotte North, gets around a defense, tries to get the shot off, but Sophia LaRose is right there. So they deny Charlotte North her first opportunity. That's got to feel good if you're Sophia LaRose getting an early save against arguably the best player in the history of women's lacrosse. Duke defense right now into his zone look. Another open opportunity in front of the net. Sophia LaRose does it, though. Gets the save, a big stop. Great job by the senior, Sophia LaRose. She's just quick in goal. She's athletic. She's mature. She's been doing this for a long time. That's what her team's going to need, some exceptional saves from her today. Duke on top, 3-2 midway through the first period here. And a lot of times you're going to see defense turn into offense, and that's what we just saw here on Duke's last goal. Sophia LaRose, the senior. Here comes the shot, pass inside. And this is just a point blank save by Sophia LaRose on what could have been another goal for BC that turns it around the other way. Duke offense going to work. Crafty 1v1 move, and BC's goalie, Rachel Hall, visibly upset because it's the goal of the defense to create difficult shots and reduce the shooting angles. And right now, Duke's been effective beating their player one-on-one -on -one and getting easy looks on cage. Sydney Scales, maybe the best athlete on the team. Quick pass, the transition game, almost results in a goal, but turned away by LaRose again. Rose right now is the MVP of this one. This is what the Blue Devils needed. Some good stops, some great saves. And here they come in transition. Barry finds Keller. She's got an opening. The replay here. Another point blank shot. LaRose right there with her stick saves it. Starts the transition. Kicks it out. Four. Martello over to North. Middle of defense, great passing. And it's LaRose again. It'll be a reset on the shot clock. Fresh 60 seconds for Boston College. We we're expecting a lot of offense in this game, but so far the story early on is Sophia LaRose for Duke. Well, when you want to win a big game, you need a big performance from your keeper. And Sophia LaRose really stepping up big for her team. And Boston College with some really uh, high percentage shots in front of Cajun, missing out on those opportunities. But Sophia LaRose so far, the star of the day, saving her team which from what could be a tie game right now. Yeah, Sophia LaRose dealt with some off-season shoulder surgeries and, you know, missed a lot of time in the off-season just practicing and preparing for this year. And so they've kind of had to ease her back into it as well throughout the year. And I think she's been frustrated at times with where she is, kind of hoping that she was further along or just expecting her to be up to 100%. But obviously you're working back from shoulder surgery, but it looks like she's in a good spot right now. Yeah, she's so athletic, she's quick. And right now she's really got BC's number. Cassidy Weeks defending her. Under 10 on the shot clock. Barry has to just get it off, and it is knocked off the, the stick, and it will be a reset. Going back and forth, can even it up right now on this eight meter opportunity. Rose trying to find the ball, she does. She gets the save again, so Rose, her first save of the period, fifth of the game. And that's really key because this will let Duke, if they can get this ball through this ride, get, get into their half ball to the Blue Devils. Here they come in transition. So Duke out of that, that break. It's Carner, she goes low. Big save that time for Hall, her second today. And Duke still being aggressive. Got a good look there for Carner, but Hall comes up big. Now the long outlet pass. Angle. I didn't see a whole lot, but you'll see Charlotte North as she can wind up and she's got a rifle, but she misses the entire cage. She does, and her teammates right there to back her up. That one denied at the doorstep. How about that? North, another chance. Gets turned away, and LaRose pumps her fist after the big save. LaRose is like, no, no, not on my watch. 
Charlotte North on the doorstep, standing on the crease, and LaRose steps up for another gigantic save, and the Blue Devils are in transition. Ball back, and we go. Here comes that pass to Charlotte North. What a catch. She goes for it, and LaRose saves another one. How athletic. She gets doubled. Five seconds. She finds the teammate, the pass. Duke, good defensively. LaRose gets another body part on it to knock it away as time expires. Her teammates come and give her a pat on the back. We appreciate what you're doing right now, Sophia LaRose. She comes up big again for Duke. The Eagles try to climb back, but Duke keeps it a four-goal lead after three. And if you want to win a big game, you have to have a big game, huge game from your keeper. And check out saves by Sophia in this one. She's got eight on the day. She's been all over the place. You can see her quickness, her reaction time, her athleticism. And she has come up huge for the Blue Devils in this one. It has indeed. And Duke, the four-goal lead. Definitely the position you want to be in, but far from a comfortable lead right here with 15 minutes left. Um, Boston College, we said here's the two top offensive scoring teams in the country. Boston College, multiple offensive weapons, multiple attackers, the opportunity to score quickly. Duke hasn't allowed that today, so let's see if Duke is able to maintain control of possession. It's just, it's, it's just going to be who shows up on the, the day they play. Great keeper play, great defense. Carner loses the defense, but Hall makes her biggest save today. It's a huge save. That was a point-blank shot. Rachel Hall falls on the ball, stopping that one. Bell Smith quickly working. Boston College goes. Working the ball around. Gets room. Point-blank shot. Hall falls on it. Sophia LaRose also all of a sudden is limping. Not sure what happened there, but now she's coming out of Cage with the help of her teammates. And this is huge for the Blue Devils. She has been the backbone of the team today. She is a very talented goalie as well. She got a start a couple weeks ago. Coach Kimmel wanted to give Sophia LaRose a little bit of a break in that game. Everson didn't allow a goal in her first start, but now this is the biggest test she's going to face now. Still unsure what exactly happened. And it didn't seem like a big deal until the stoppage of play. Then all of a sudden, she was coming out of the cage with the help of her teammates. So, Cubby Biscardi there, 24 and white, defending. So it's Charlotte North trying to make it a hat trick. She'll fire, but Everson with the save. How about the freshman coming up big? Gigantic save. Charlotte North so effective from the eight meter when she has that much room and she can wind up with that rifle of a shot she had. And that is the Restart worst. Restart it. She's got to hang on to it. She's going to attack one defender. She's got her speed. She goes past him. And this one, ladies and gentlemen, is in the book. The Blue Devils emerge victorious. Big win for Duke. 16-15. They run out the clock on senior day and upset number two, Boston College. Duke closes out the homestand with a perfect season.